that matter, does both. Good left hook to the body by Evander Holyfield. And the left hook to the jaw. And Holyfield is quicker to the punch. Throw combinations early because he doesn't like the idea of exchanging jab after jab. So far, this is a very good round for Evander, who has been able to mount his attack and get away. Again, Holyfield scores with the left-right combination. Bo answers with one punch in return. And Holyfield again, getting the best of a center ring exchange. Now Bo lands the right hand for the first time in the fight. That's not all I've got. Stay away from the exchanges. It was the right hand lead fight. again, George. He's landing that right hand lead is Holyfield, the champion. Not only that, that left hook to the body. In combinations by the champion oh, Evander oh, Holyfield. Oh, oh, oh. And already Bo begins to hold and hit. And they brawl in the center of the ring. Evander Holyfield showing his warrior's heart. Jab, which is what he wants. Bo trying to measure Holyfield from afar. Left hook by Holyfield. Missed the second one. Lands the right. I think those left hooks to the body by Evander Holyfield may be the most telling blows in the whole fight. Left hooks by Bo. Two of them. Holyfield coming back, taking and giving shots. What does he need to be throwing right hand? Long right hand from. by Holyfield almost caught both flush. As it was, it did a little damage, as it might have appeared to be the case. Holyfield landing inside. Bo comes right back. What does that push, happen? Push it. It's going to be a big deal. Left hook landed by Bo after a right. Holyfield seemingly in trouble for the moment. No doubt about it. Come on, man. Don't be it there. appears Come on. to me that there's blood around Holyfield's right eye. Come on, Bo. Keep up. Let's look more carefully. There's the left hook by Holyfield. And another, and another, and another. Holyfield wobbles Bo onto the rope. And Evander, every chance he gets, he tries to rush in for a good right-hand shot. Bo keep that left jab working. Still landing that right-hand lead. Riddick Bo lands the right hand. Another, he's not keeping his position at all. Left hook inside by Holyfield. Bo's punches are having more effect. Bo goes to the body, and Holyfield covers up. Never. You want the puncher following you. He'll throw 20 more. There's a right hand. Bo must have found it partially blocked by Holyfield Glove. Holyfield. Only 36 for Holyfield. There's a left and a right by Holyfield and a left. Bo giving the right hand in return. Left hand by Holyfield. These are solid shots. Keep in mind that Evander Holyfield is a veteran of the 12-round route. And Riddick Bo has never been beyond 10. Holyfield, he said that the eye didn't bother him in training at all. But Riddick Bowe believes otherwise and made no secret of his intention to go after Evander's right eye. Now, Evander Holyfield is starting to take control with his jab a little more. I would say, hey, keep that left hook out of the business. They traded right hands there. It was Holyfield who backed up. And the other move around and side to side. And Bo trying to capitalize with the uppercut. And Holyfield comes back with the right hand lead. Uh, stamina is truly endurance. Endurance is like, who wants it more? Got to have a reason to fight like that. Nine children or so. <laughs> Both fighters showing their personality. And midway through this fight, he's still in it. So has a very good chance of winning it. Bo lands the right hand over the top. Evander just freezes and looks at him and then comes he right was hurt. again. Bo didn't realize that he was hurt. As Bo lands the left hook and goes to the body to try to set up the finish. Holyfield peering through the swelling right eye. Started, he should open up with his long left hooks right now because the, side, the right side of Evander's face wrong in life. I know what it's all about. Good left hook. Holyfield with another left hook. The champion showing his courage, pawing at his left eye to feel the blood and then raging out with the left hook. Bo coming back because it takes too much out of your body. As the water is going as it is, then you start losing blood. One drop seems unimportant to the average person, but a lot to a boxer. Realize every punch that Evander throws at this point, they are desperate shots. Stay out of the way of them, you could get yourself hurt. And you saw Bo pawing his right eye. Yeah. Pawing the right eye again. Let's see if Holyfield tries to take advantage of that opportunity. He does, and takes a right hand in return. Attached gloves. A guy is not supposed to get thumbed in theory with those gloves. Yeah, but you can't avoid it. I've been thumbed and have accidentally been able to see for a minute. And also likely to make Holyfield worry and feel negative about the eye. Trading right hands. Again, it was Bose. Right uppercut by Holyfield.
field, momentarily stuns Bo. Low blow by Bo. Right hand by Holyfield, and again, he shook the sweat off of Bo, but didn't move the man. Before in a professional prize fight. Riddick can't understand someone being so dirty. So you see Holyfield going down in this round, and Bo stuns him with an uppercut, and just like that, the champion struggles to stay on his feet. What a heart by Holyfield. Gets away from a right hand, blocks another one. Bo throwing and throwing, now goes to the body. Holyfield somehow standing up, but staying too close to Referee. Bo. Joe Cortez watching. Champion gets the benefit of the doubt. That was a right uppercut. Rest with your jab. Bo should be taking that kind of advice. Look at Holyfield. What a warrior. Reversing the tide of the battle. The champion now has Bo wobbling. And he lands the right hand. This round should be greeted with a standing ovation at the end. You've seen the best of both men. A right hand by Holyfield. And another. Continues after the bell. Neither fighter totally exhausted yet. Oh, Holyfield in serious trouble now. The bow has got to be cool trying to finish him, though. There's the uppercut again. The mouthpiece is out of Holyfield's mouth. And he's going to go down. First time he has actually gone to the canvas. It could be all over. When it turns against you, keep fighting. Still throwing the left hook inside and the right hand lead. Oh, okay, no here's the early over. action in that round. Groomed himself through his cruiserweight career to ultimately extraordinary courage, spectacular heart and will. What he hasn't had is the muscle and the size. I can tell you one thing, that terminology of the St. Bernard and the Junkyard Dogs, they belong to me. Larry stole them from me. <laughs> I gave it to them. Not the first great idea that we've stolen from you, George, and it won't be the last. Of heart and will and courage and skill.